Hola! Bienvenidos! Welcome to the next uh, Vocabulary Builder. This is audio 13 and video 13 on the Vocab Builder for Victor's Adventures in Spain, the parallel textbook. Bueno! Estamos en la M. We're still in M. And the first word that we're going to learn today and going to remember, remember to remember, eh? um, and sometimes you can forget to forget if you want as well. So, the word we're going to learn is best, the best, yeah? Now, the word best is mejor. Mejor, okay? So, um, the way to remember that, mejor looks like major, doesn't it? Um, and so, you can think, well, it's the majorly best one. This is the majorly best one. Mejor. Okay, there's another way of remembering it, but that's far too rude and I'm not going to go into it. So, the majorly best one. Okay, mejor. Hace tanto calor que estoy sudando mucho, mucho, mucho. It's so hot, I'm sweating under these lights and, and it's a really hot day as well. Bueno. Okay, so mejor is the best, okay? The majorly best one. Then we've got message, message. And this word is mensaje. Mensaje, okay? So it's very similar, in, but it starts with men. So this is a message only for men. It's a mensaje, okay? Mensaje. Message for men. Okay. Next one is month. The word month. Now, month is mes. Mes. Okay. So this is an easy one to remember. You look back over the month and you think, oh my god, what a mess this month has been. What a mess. Okay. Never happens, does it? No. Okay, so that's month is mess. What a mess this month has been. Now, we're going to look at table, which is virtually the same word. Table is mesa. Mesa. Okay? And so you can, the same thing, you look at the table, imagine a table and it's what a mess on the table, absolute mess. Maybe children have spilled things on it or there's food everywhere. It's a mess. Now, how are you going to distinguish between the two? Month is mess and it's masculine and table is mesa and it's feminine. And how you remember it is just imagine a lot of women sitting around the table. So when you see that, you know that you've got to say mesa. Okay, what a mess on that table. Next one is fear. Dun, 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 fear, and that's miedo. Miedo, okay? Now, miedo. This one, you know when you go to the hairdressers, okay? And I don't know if this has happened to you, but it does always happen to me. You go to the hairdresser, I never go by the way, um, and they cut your hair and you're absolutely terrified to look at your hairdo afterwards, okay, because you don't know what they've done. They're, invariably they do something that you don't want them to do. So you've got fear of, um, I've got fear of looking at my hairdo, okay, my hairdo, miedo. So I'm frightened of looking at my hairdo, miedo, okay, so that's how I remember it, miedo. And very interesting, but there's another word which is mierda, which has nothing to do with that, and that's poo, okay? But I think they're very similar words, and they are linked, really, in a lot of ways. When you have one, you generally have the other, don't you? So, uh, miedo. I've got fear of looking at my hairdo in the hairdressers. Next one is a lot, a lot. Now, to say a lot in Spanish, you say mucho. Okay, mucho. And uh, so 
it's very similar to how we use it in English. Do you have, do you have a lot of money? Yeah, I have a lot. Do you have much money? Yes, I have a lot. Okay, so much, mucho. Okay, and we're going to come to another one that you mustn't get mixed up, and lots of people get them mixed up, but it's very similar in English. Mucho, a lot. When you think of the word a lot, mucho. I've got much. Okay. Next one is world. Okay, world. And the word for world is mundo. Mundo. Okay, lots of languages have a very similar uh, word. So, mundo. Now, mundo. Mundo. And you know what I've got here? I've got the world, like the moon, is made of dough. Okay, mundo. So, just picture it. It's stupid, but it doesn't matter. So, imagine the moon made of dough, and the world's made of dough as well. So, it's mundo. Okay? Mundo. And then this is the word that you mustn't get mixed up. You must keep them separate from mucho. And this is very. Okay? And the word for very is muy. Muy. Now, how you pronounce it, it sounds very much like M-W-E-E. -E. Muy. That's pretty much how you say it, okay? And I always used to think of, if you don't know Cornwall, the south of England, the accent that comes from there, but basically when they say my there, they say this word. They'll say, for example, moy, moyos is very big. Okay, moy, moyos. So um, that's basically the word very, moy. Moyos is very big. Okay, so. Don't get that mixed up with mucho, okay? So, um, I'm very happy. Estoy muy contento, okay? I have a lot of money. Tengo mucho dinero. So, one's a lot, mucho, and one is very. And pretty much as in English, okay? Um, bien. So, let's test you out now and see how much you've remembered. Um, what is mejor? Mejor. Yeah, it's majorly the best one. Mejor is best. Next, mensaje. Mensaje. What are only men receiving? A message. Mensaje. Okay. What about this one? Mes. mess. You're back. What a mess this month has been. Mess is month. And so what is mesa? Exactly. Table. You, did you see the women sitting around it as well? The messy table? Mesa. What about this one? Miedo. Miedo. Fear. Fear of my hairdo. Okay. Um, next one. Mucho. Mucho. Mucho is a lot. Yeah, I have much money. I have a lot of money. Um, then mundo. Mundo. What's that? The moon's made of dough and so is the earth. Mundo, the world, the world. It's not the earth, the earth's another word. So the world, mundo. And then the last one, muy. Muy. Muy aus is very big. So muy is very, muy very. Okay, muy bien, I hope you're enjoying this series. It's silly, but you will be amazed at how easily these words stick. When you do this, if you really involve yourself, okay, let me give you a, a tip here. If you sit passively, just listening to me, 
and not making any images in your head, these words will just go woo out. Okay? That's what we do every day when we meet people and we just forget the names. You must actively participate. If you do and you create the images or create whatever images you want to create in your mind, you will remember these words. The difference between somebody who has a lot of vocab in Spanish and somebody who is constantly going, um, 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 it's a massive difference. When you can pull out words like that, it makes a big difference. It impresses people. And I know you want to impress people. So, actively participate. Venga, entonces, nos vemos en el próximo. Hasta luego.